Hello guys, welcome back to another video of getting along with Flutter. In this video, we'll be talking about alignment. <clears throat> now, what is alignment? For that, we'll continue with our previous application and we'll edit a few parts of it. For now, we'll be commenting this child property inside the body. Fine. And let's comment it out. And here, We'll declare, uh, uh, let's say we'll declare a row for now. Okay, I commented the child, so I'll first make a child. Then inside this child, I'll declare a row. Fine. Now inside this row, I'll make various children. Fine. Now these children will possess uh, containers, to be precise. Okay, container has C capital and these containers are here basically uh, boxes, fine. Boxes with uh, means specified dimensions. Uh, dimension as in width, let's say 50 and uh, height as in Let's say height uh, will be somewhere 150, I guess, will be, will do good. 150 or 120, somewhere in between. One, 150 seems good. Color will be, uh, colors dot red. This will do good. Now I'll copy this container. Uh, I'll make four containers of same dimension but of different color. Uh, here I'll make blue and here I'll make uh, anything else green. And let's make another container for now. This is the last one and let's say its color is somewhere orange, a deep orange. Fine. Let's run it and see what it does. Yeah, it's here and this is what it does. Now, what we saw in this code is inside the body, we are declaring a row and this row contains various containers. Fine. These containers are mere boxes. There is nothing much inside it, but the logic behind the, uh, the code available over here is that we have declared a row inside the center widget of the body and this row contains uh, containers which are boxes and it looks somewhere like this. Fine. Now you can take a note that these boxes are not arranged properly. Like they are aligned to a single side of the screen. So to handle this, what we can do is we can use Another property which is called main axis alignment. Fine. And uh, call the main axis alignment class dot. Let's say for now we'll use uh, space evenly. Fine. And we'll reload it and let's see what it does. Ah, uh, yeah. These boxes have been spaced evenly throughout the screen. Now, let's say I want, I use end over here and I run it again. Let's see what this does. Yeah. Now, these boxes have aligned to the end of the screen. Now, what is this main axis alignment? The main axis alignment property determines how a row or a column can position their children in that extra space, which is available throughout the screen of the application. Fine. So it has six possible values. One is space evenly, as I showed you. One is end and another one is start. Let's run it and see. And as the name suggests, we assume that these boxes will be aligned to the start of the application and it's true. And let's say we put center over here and as the name suggests again, 
these boxes will be aligned in the center of the application and that's what happens and then another one is space between okay space between fine we'll run it and let's see what this does so you see the uh, the space has been evenly distributed in between the boxes now coming to the last value uh, which is available for main axis alignment and that is space around over here and let's run it and see what it does uh, basically space around is quite similar to space evenly but it reduces half of the spaces uh, half of the space before the first child and after the last child so you see there is a small gap over here so this is half of the space available fine so otherwise it's quite similar to space evenly so these are the six values available for main axis alignment now after main axis alignment let's see what is cross axis alignment the cross axis alignment property determines how the row and column can position the children on their cross axis fine so uh, it might be a bit difficult to get this statement so let's see it with an example in the same way first i'll call cross axis alignment then i'll call its class alignment and uh, for now i'll uh, use the value end over here and i'll run it now you will find no change over here you see the application runs but but there is no change in the ui over here let me do one thing i'll change the values of the heights given here i'll make it 100 i'll make it 250 i'll make it 50 then i'll make it somewhere 90 and then when i run it will find the change and it's here so the point over here is a row's cross axis is vertical and a column's cross axis is horizontal so uh, and of course as same as in like uh, main axis alignment the cross axis alignment has got five values the first one is end as i showed you the next one is center let's see what this does and let me run the application again it's here fine the next value which we'll be seeing is of stretch fine uh, let's run it and see what it does yeah it's here now what stretch does is it stretches the children across the cross axis like for row the cross axis will be from top to bottom and for columns the cross axis will be from left to right fine the next value which we will see is um start i hope you all might be predicting what start will do and uh, it's pretty simple yeah uh, what start does is uh, it positions the children near the start of the cross axis so yeah that's it and there is another value which is new in cross axis alignment and that is baseline but the issue with baseline is it only accepts a text widget fine so uh, here we are using containers as children which won't work in the case of baseline what baseline does is it aligns the children by their character baselines so when character comes it must be a text hence a text widget is needed over here fine so you can check this property by declaring text widgets over here it's pretty simple and i hope you will be able to do it on your own so that's it for main axis alignment and cross axis alignment i would suggest you to go through the documentation and play around these properties a bit it will be really helpful and we'll see you in the next video till then keep learning keep hustling bye bye